Welcome to Advanced Temperature Calibration using a Fluke 754 and Dry Well Source. To conduct an advanced temperature calibration, you will need a 753 or 754 documenting process calibrator, a Fluke Calibration Dry Block or Micro Bath with a communications port, and a null modem cable with a 9-pin connector on one end and the LIMO pressure connection connection on the other end. After connecting the two tools together with the null modem cable, we will power them both up, go to the Fluke 754 source screen, select the temperature button, indicate dry well sourcing, and allow the 754 to connect to the 9144 in this example. You'll notice that both the internal temperature of the 9144 matches the source indicated temperature on the 754. To demonstrate the control capability, we will simply enter a temperature, hit enter, and notice that the set point will increment on the 9144. To conduct a demo calibration, we have inserted a three-wire RTD into the drive block that is connected to an Emerson 644 transmitter. The transmitter is being powered and measured simultaneously with the 754 while also being interfaced using the HART protocol. Having connected the 754 to the temperature transmitter, we can see that the basic HART information is now displayed on the screen of the calibrator. To begin the calibration, we will hit the measure source button. We will select that we want to measure milliamps but source with the dry well. Select as found select instrument calibration. It is a four to 20 milliamp calibration. We're gonna select 1% tolerance. We're gonna to select zero seconds on the delay. This allows the dry well to di dictate when the next point is incremented once it comes to proper temperature and settles. After selecting auto test, the 9144 begins to heat to the first set point of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the 9144 acclimates at its first set point of 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the 754 commands the 9144 to move to the next set point of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes the service completely automatic and independent of a technician's need to accept a point and move to the next temperature point. Upon co completing the calibration cycle, the 754 will list out the documented results of the source, the measurement, and the percent error capture. In this example, there was no error percentage outside of the 1% threshold we had set, so there's no reverse video overlapping the actual lines of error percentages. To complete the test, we will hit done. It's captured the tag serial number and the ID of the 754 that did the test have done to capture that, and we'll enter the F2 adjustment mode. For selecting sensor test, we'll select use a dry well as the temperature source. In the sensor adjustment mode, pressing F3, LRV, we'll set the uh, 9144 to the low end or LRV uh, threshold. The 744 at that point will monitor the 9144 temperature against the digital temperature being output as the PV from the, from the transmitter. By pressing the trim button, you can make a very, very accurate adjustment to align the LRV of both the actual temperature and the transmitter PV. After making the trim adjustments, we press the as left button done and run auto test again. To create an even more accurate calibration measurement, we can insert a secondary reference RTD into the dry block as such. And using the process dry block connections on select dry blocks, plug it directly into the calibrating dry block. This allows the 754 to capture the reference probe measurement indicated here, rather than the internal block temperature referenced here. 
This can improve the accuracy of the measurement through the secondary reference, typically adds an extra digit of resolution, and when thinking about annual calibrations or recertifications, you're only needing to ship the reference probe back to it, a commercial cal lab for a third-party calibration rather than sending back the entire drive log. Thank you for watching. You can find more great videos on the Fluke website, www.fluke.com.